This is the first fuel cell in Coolidge in the U.S. that we're putting together and igniting. It's, it's, it's really exciting. We've been running it in battery mode, going through all the checks, brakes and such. We'll get to that next phase coming up real soon uh, and then it's going to get really exciting. Right now, the measures in the tent that you see behind us is meant for small batch prototype runs. We don't yet have the facilities operational and built yet to be able to do a full hydrogen leak check purge procedure inside. But that is being built. Um, we have a facility going up where we'll be able to conduct this procedure very quickly because we will need to hit really quick manufacturing processing times and safely as well. With the short, short time frames, it makes for very exciting milestones. So when we reach things like running on hydrogen power today, it's, it's very exciting. We know that all that hard work was, was definitely worth it. We were able to use a majority of the common parts from the battery uh, operated vehicles. Uh, so when the BEV uh, formulated their entire design, we were able to utilize the majority of that, including the cab system and such. What really will give us that distinction is obviously the backpack that controls all the, the storage of the fuel. So that's what's going to be distinct between the two. So there's a defuel valve in here. That's what we, that were, we were turning. turning. Yep. And that opens up the system to the vent line that goes over to the vent stack. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's always great seeing the system that you've worked so long on come together. The system I helped put together in CAD, I can now, you know, actually work on it. That's, that's the best part to me is actually seeing it come together. We co-developed this fuel cell system. It is all based on Nikola's specific requirements. It's based on our specific integration. And we defined all of these interfaces, all of the specifications, all together with Bosch. And the result of it is not just a system off the shelf that's being dropped into an existing truck, but the result of this is a system that's truly optimized on a truck level. And that will be one of our biggest advantages to have full control over that to achieve our durability targets for this truck, which that is not an easy task for sure. That's what I think too, I think. Okay, stand by, good. This is the first fuel cell drive on hydrogen. It feels amazing. All this hard work came down to this. I've worked at large OEMs before. I'm used to a six year process and we, we are doing it in a, a fraction of the time. We've done it in less than two. It's crazy. It's hard work. We're all working long hours, but when it's you know for an end goal, it's got some integrity behind it, um, you know, where it could make the world a better place for generations to come. Uh, it's pretty exciting. This has been hundreds of people working together, engineers, mechanics, the entire team to get to this point. It's an incredible milestone. Um, a lot of people have come from a lot of different states or even countries to join Nikola to, to bring these products to life. And um, it's really the culmination of a lot of hard work and a lot of, a lot of sleepless nights sometimes. And three, two, one, hit it. Change is possible. Several years ago, this was just a vision. Running a full-size, heavy-duty load completely on hydrogen with a fuel cell. There will be people 100 years from now that will look back and don't even know what a diesel semi-truck was. This truck is going to change the world. At some point, diesels aren't going to be allowed on the roads anymore with emissions, and it's going to be trucks like this that I helped build that are going to change that. We know what we're doing here. It's. It's amazing. We're going to change the world no matter what. The five years I spent working at Nikola might not appear that long, but it truly feels like something that I was born to do. It is not just another job for me. It's just not another paycheck for me. I want to see this succeed. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to do something that might be bigger than yourself. 
At times I still can't believe what we've achieved so far. Getting to this point, seeing these trucks take their laps on the track is, is a dream come true. It's truly a dream come true.